Yo, what is going on you guys? Bastion YJ here and I'm back at again with another Monday Market Watch for you guys. Monday Market Watch has become a staple for us on the channel and it's been a lot of fun being able to check out some of the weird wacky cars that are going up and down into the format guys. So I want to go ahead and get into this with you guys. I want to maybe tone it down a little bit with the quantity of cars I'm covering on the channel. Just focus on a few cards here and there that I think are going to or are already going up in their potential price spikes or you know that I just find interesting. So first one we're going to be taking out is going to be you bell now you bell of course got some brand new support that actually looks insanely insanely cool uh, i have not tested with it myself but honestly with the overall hype and it being one of the the main character i guess you call it cards or it, it's such a close ties with the with the whole gx storyline this card that it has both collector value and potential competitive viability value we'll have to wait and see for that one but you bell has been going up across the board for these reasons exactly starting off with of course the secret rare out of legendary collection 2 um, don't think it's going for 50 I think this TCG tax but it has obviously price bag as of about two three weeks ago when the cards were first announced that it is something that is definitely worth considering pretty much doubling in price overall is actually really really crazy you can get the first First near mint copy for around $34 if you get the guys do want to have the max rarity you bell now there are of course other versions of you bell you can go ahead and pick up you can pick up the super rare or the least expensive copy of you bell right now is going to be the rare out of the raw yellow mega pack if you guys are looking for a first edition near mint you are gonna have to dish out at least eight to ten bucks potentially for one I'm here on the first page there is not one is a Korean one where of course we can't use that one here in the TCG so going on further we can see that it goes up to around eight dollars for the light played it's gonna be around ten dollars for a near mint first edition guys if you guys want the uh, uh, a rare max out which is it would be weird <laughs> at that point you can potentially just get the super ultra rare whichever one's the next highest and then might as well then just go to the secret rare after that one right the super rare okay so you bell of course going up in price go on to the next one the next one's gonna be more of a penny stock that if you guys have not looked through your bulk I would highly recommend you guys do this now we have Versago the Destroyer out of Tournament Pack 1, the highest rarity version of Versago the Destroyer. It is a rare, which is funny enough. This card has been used as a fusion substitute target, not the card fusion substitute, but as a literal substitution for a fusion summon in the Chimera deck in order to be able to facilitate the summoning of your Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. It is also a double whammy because it is a dark, so that plays very well with the Brandon, and it is a fiend, which works very well with the Chimera. It is a best of both worlds, extremely versatile, and definitely a must up if you guys look at the play dragoons in your chimera engine spiking in price of course after about the past two three weeks again since the chimera star first came out and we started testing with it this is actually super super crazy so if you guys are looking to pick up more budget versions of the card that are of course the comments are going for a few cents on the dollar so there's really not need to spend this much money on this card but in the event that you guys want to get the highest rarity you're not gonna have to spend a lot more than just a few cents just so just a quick heads up i don't think it's gonna be being used by any other strategies at the moment but with the high popularity of chimera at the moment this is essentially a big piece if you want to go ahead and max out your strategy which would look absolutely beautiful because then of course you have ultimate rare Red fusion ultimate rare uh fallen of alabaz your starlights in the extra deck absolutely beautiful beautiful deck next up on our list is going to be a really interesting one and we have sorabis the ancient and ascended out of invasion of engines so this is going to be a secret rare there are alternative copies but this is an interesting one that I have not really seen go up in price in a very very long time or I haven't really paid attention to this card in the longest time and it's really interesting so the first time I actually saw this card recently was in a cards uh Cards and Coffee. Cards and Coffee, if you guys have seen his channel, most likely you have. If not, I'll leave a link in the description where he made a, I believe it's a Pirelli deck, but he had Sorabis in here to protect from targeting effects, which is actually genius in order to make sure that you're able to make your uh, your e pearly nor on top of your whatever level two rank two you have on board so this protects your your cats or whatever from being targeted with book of moon any nonsense during the standby phase where you're doing your draws it protects it from cards like infinite impermanence it protects it from cards like 
uh, Ghost Mortar and Moonlin Chill protects it from cards like Effect Baylor. It, there's a lot of targeting effects going on right now, and I think this is actually a very, very smart move to go ahead and slide into if you're going to be a Pirelli player. Now, of course, Pirelli overall has gone down quite a bit in price, but I believe that's pretty much just, uh, well, one, we have a new season of Yu-Gi-Oh! Among Us, so there's really no need to be as hyper competitive right now. And secondly, well, is going to be a big factor as well is going to be the ban list and just there's so much ban list speculation the fact that konami slapped purelli before it even got started on the most recent uh ban list uh one can only imagine what they're going to be doing to it and this next ban list if they really truly want to move on into a new format it, we're going to have to have a lot of changes because essentially the format is completely wide open you can play whatever you want and still do extremely well but for alternative versions if you guys do not want to play this you have of course the rare copy out of amazing defenders which is the card version i will most likely be playing although the ultra rares are just a few cents more so i might i might swag out a little bit here and there but still six bucks for the uh, for the ritual monster it's not that bad considering it has a lot of applicability in the in the format protects you like i said from book of moons so many hand traps as well uh, also other targeting effects so honestly i think it's a good pickup as well next up guys for some more meta relevant cards that we have in the format we have abominations prison which is pretty much just reinforcement in the army for the unchained strategy unchained has gained a lot of popularity a lot of popularity recently topping a lot of most recent regionals as well as winning i believe two of them i know one went in arizona and i know i got second place i believe in lubbock regional the most recent this past weekend so that is something to keep in mind unchained if without going unchecked can be a huge pain in the behind for any strategy mainly because it, a lot of the cards now oh they'll just pop cards in the field especially with chimera being so popular which i think is really increasing the viability increasing the viability i should say of the unchained strategy because all that chimera does is pop cards so this having unchained is really going to be detrimental to anyone who's trying to pop their cards or whatever it might be so that is something to keep in mind i think the beers need to go back into the main deck uh kaijus as well and is something that you're just gonna have to play around with essentially now if you guys are looking for alternative copies you do still have the ultra rare out of the 2020 megatons but there's really not that much of a price difference guys this card used to be a five dollar card just about two months ago and ever since the unchained chain stuff was announced and then we see the true viability of it it has spiked up ridiculously you might as well just pick up the secret rares for a few bucks more but that's again my personal opinion now remember there are only 10 listings of this card at least a secret rare on tcg players so we will see what that reflects to it rises very very quickly to around the 50 60 dollar range that last time we did see this we saw this with chimera and only around text 10 listings whatever it might be but we actually are going to go ahead and cover that right now so ever since we did the uh, last i think it was last week's video that we covered the chimera king of phantom beast being skyrocketing up towards the 80 dollars because it only had six listings absolutely ridiculous it has uh gained a lot <laughs> <laughs> gained a, quite a bit of popularity among sellers just getting rid of their getting rid of their cards uh, while they're peaking in value and this is pretty gonna, pretty much going to be the best time to do it with now 61 listing, listings compared to only the seven that we saw last week that is a big big jump in price uh a big big jump in an opportunity as well for any vendor who's looking to sell this card so big big uh thumbs up to you guys uh looking to provide the community and flood it with a whole bunch of product and not letting it get to 80 dollars before slapping it with a whole bunch of listings so big shout out to you guys as well uh next cards i want to go ahead and cover here it's going to be the ots so we have ots 22 ots 23 is going to be coming out in october we already have the first card announced which is going to be the enemy controller which i'm very very excited about but i think that this goes to show essentially what we what we fear the most so branded has survived each and every single ban list well was is not going to get hit in any ban list whatsoever Branded fusion is still going to stay at three guaranteed I guarantee it, right? Uh, Pirelli, on the other hand, there is a lot of fear. Both are three ofs, but it just goes to show Pirelli, as great a deck as it is, is just not the... F there's no hype for it that, that I'm seeing amongst the community. There's no excitement for Pirelli, which is really a shame because it is a very, very good deck. Personally, I do not like the play style, but 
it is a one of the strongest decks in Yu-Gi-Oh. Arguably the first or second compared to Kashira. But again, Kashira is still one of the best decks in Yu-Gi-Oh. But no one is playing it right now. We just want something fresh. We want something new. So we will see what the ban list has in store for us. And hopefully we'll be making a market watch for the ban list updates here in the next few days. But without further ado, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.